Well, Sean, there was plenty to shovel out there this morning. Yeah, there was three inches in Mankato, uh, between three and four in the Mankato, North Mankato area, more to the north. Uh, I think one of the bigger ones I saw, Shakopee and New Prague, over seven inches of mm -hmm. snow. Marshall had six and a half inches of snow. So there was plenty to go around. Mm -hmm. It's not going to stick around long either. No. Uh, you guys, we're going to cool it. We're going to warm it up next yeah. week. Let's take a look outside and show you what's going on. Some white on the cameras, which is kind of nice to see, given the fact that it is winter and we've not had a lot of winter scenery this year. This is our biggest snowfall so far of the season, and it was just kind of a eh, <laughs> 18 our temperature. Now we are going to get cold now that the system has moved through. We have some colder air that's going to plunge in here for at least a couple of days, so we are going to keep the snow around for a little while. West wind at six. It is mostly clear. New Ulm at 14. Redwood Falls 18 degrees. Fairmont at 22. So get uh, ready for even a little more cold here as we make our way into the next couple of days. We have some light snow, a system that's going to move to our south overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Cold temps tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the coldest day we've had in uh, almost a month. Uh, it's going to get a little windy on Saturday, and with the snow out there, there may be some areas of blowing snow, especially in rural areas, but it's not going to take long. We're going to bring the sunshine back, and we are going to warm it up into next week. A little bit of light snow, and I'm talking a flurry here or there. You can almost count the little flakes as they come down to our south and west with this system that is uh, now moving in. Uh, the heaviest snow will be further to the south, but we do have a couple of snowflakes. This is a live view from Wyndham, and you have to look very closely. I don't even know if you'll see one, but I did see one little flake drift by. I mean, it may have blown off the roof or something like that, but we're not expecting much snow in Minnesota. Further south, amounts could be a little higher. We have this low that's going to slide to the southeast tonight and keep most of that to our south. High pressure is going to be may our main influence, and this cold front is going to push through, bringing in a secondary punch of cooler air tonight into tomorrow. So that's the reason why it is going to be cool tomorrow. But here's a snow forecast. Less than an inch, and I'm talking Worthington, Wyndham, Fairmont, a couple of flurries, not even enough to cover the ground. Algona to Esterville, we may get a dusting. Once you get a little further south, down towards Spencer, Storm Lake, Fort Dodge, an inch or two possible as this system moves through. Really, our only impact here in Mankato will be clouds that move in overnight tonight. There is a winter weather advisory down around Fort Dodge and Storm Lake, but not close to us. Here we are as we go through tonight. Snow will continue to kind of develop and move in. Again, most of it staying south of the Minnesota-Iowa line. Here we are at 10 p.m. tonight, midnight, and then as we take you into tomorrow morning, that whole thing will blast off to the east. Some clouds will linger into the morning. Here we are at 8 a.m., but by midday and into the afternoon, the clouds will break. Should be plenty of sunshine, just not a lot of heat tomorrow afternoon. 31 are high on Saturday. It is going to get windy with some blowing snow. Sunday, the wind will back off. It'll be slightly warmer with sunshine, but we are in for a big change into next week. Here's the jet stream. Look what happens by mid of next week. We start to get a westerly flow, warmer air, plenty of sunshine and more dry weather on the way. 15 tonight, cloudy with some light snow south of I-90 tomorrow. Clouds early, then partly cloudy and cold, a high of only 19. The 10-day forecast, windy Saturday, 35, sunny on Sunday, and then right back into the 40s with more mild, dry weather that's going to last through next week. And that's not good. The drought monitor out today. That uh, severe drought, moderate drought, pushing closer to Mankato, and it's pretty bad to our southeast, so we need moisture very badly. That we do. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Sean. Yeah. Sports is next. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.